All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Tony Ferguson. Well, with respect to Justin Gaethje and anyone else we want to throw in the mix, this is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kupui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC and with a college wrestling background, every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know that you have your hands full. And there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's crazy. And from a work ethic standpoint, few guys are going to be able to match that. It took him just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watched Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. you got to have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Ferguson is five years the elder. Adesanya will have a four-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender on a side. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you out. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice right punch followed by a left. Strong straight left there. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. Effective punch there by Adesanya. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Counter punch landed there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Unable to connect with a right hook. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Just misses with the jab there. Connects with the right. Just missed with the left there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind the real well. Straight right hand now, just misses. What a punch. Oh, Superman punch. Hook to the body here, but strong defense to block the shot by Ferguson. Just misses there with the left. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Just unable to quite find that range. And he landed the right hand there. Throws the right hand there. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just a slip there. Nice punch there. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. El Kukui gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Attempts the front kick there. Big leg kick land. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an aggressive all-offense start to this one, and that is exactly the way it's played out. Ferguson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission of combat. You are battering that dude. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Leg kick checked nicely by Adesanya. What a body kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. His Ready? strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And that one certainly found the target. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even in the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. So 92 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And landing with 47% accuracy against Tony Ferguson. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Time to show. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Right hand upstairs. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Misses with the left hook. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful strike. Under two minutes now to go. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commissioner will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, and he continues to pour it off. He mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, hook to the head by Adesanya. Lands the right hand. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. 
It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. Ferguson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, the action continues here and now as our Ready? next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world the UFC. Yes, later. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh! some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. No, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, wow. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. So get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Woo! Look at this number 186 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And striking with 48% accuracy tonight thus far against Tony Fritz. Well, just as... Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. He got him. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Well, he's up. He is hurting for certain to finish good coming any time. Didn't like that oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there! We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh! He's able to slip the left. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many of the elbows inside. Otherwise, he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Under two minutes to go. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active with your feet. Look at the whip action. Huge elbow hit. Back to the feet. He's in trouble. Oh, he's hurt bad. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him for tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel! After a huge knockout win tonight, you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.